Okay, hello. Um, I'm going to give an overview on Canva.com and how to work it to you make infographics. So I signed in to my Canva. That's me. That's my name. And it's basically what Canva looks like. You can do a bunch of things with it. Um, I like it a lot. It's pretty fun. So say you want to create, well, you want to save infographics. So let's look up infographics. Wi-Fi, it's a little bit slow, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, here we go. So these you have, these you have your are these your standard infographic layouts. Um, you also have a blank one, but if you look here, there's tons of templates that you can, you know, use as inspiration for your infographic. You have the flow charts, um, you have, if you watched um, my video on how to just create infographics in general, you have this one that has some nice balance, divide it up into four quadrants, etc, um, etc. Et so Canva is super helpful in, you know, doing this. So I'm going to pick an infographic that we can mess around with. Let's do this one. Just click on it, and it loads it right up to you. So, you can also look up more specific ones like education infographic, etc., etc. There's tons. Canva is super helpful when it comes to templates. So, this is your infographic. You highlight over, you hover over, you can highlight certain sections. Um, let's say that I want to change this to the fruit peel, just say banana. Let's go get banana peel. You can move it up. Stretch it out. You can mess around with it. Or you can add a comment or an at mention if you have a um, source. Then obviously you want to extend this box too because we need this bigger. Boop. Perfect. Oh, not really. There we go. Um, so yeah, you can mess around with all these. You can add a new page if you want. Um, oh, this one obviously has their source at the bottom, which is very good. You can add a new page to it. If you want a new page, say you want something else in there. Two pages. So what I like to do is if I'm not sure what I want my infographic to look like yet, or say I wanted to steal this image and put it up here, we can do that. Just Command C. Command V, and then it's up here. You can put it wherever you'd like. Let's put it right there. It's a little bit of a graphic for no reason. So that's something we can do here. Um, if we keep looking, keep scrolling, there's tons and tons of other ones. Um, obviously, if you look here, this background uh, watermark has been. Uh, watermarked for Canva because, you know, Canva. So what you can do is you can just delete. So now there's no watermark. And we'll go into photos. And you can either search Canva's photos or you can upload one of your own. Okay. So that was just mountains. So let's just search mountains. Obviously, you want the free ones. If you see it, hover over it and it says free. So, free. Just put that there for now. And what we want to do is we want to adjust. Oh, no. So we need to position. We want it to go forward. There we go. Oh, you can obviously put filters, everything on your infographic. There we go. So now you have an unwatermarked version. Obviously, you don't want to uh, steal every single bit of the infographic, so you should put your own information in. But just this is how you can use Canva to kind of take inspiration from it. If you look here, you have little dollar signs, which means this image can be purchased for only one dollar. We don't need that. You could just look that up online. Um, elements say you want a different icon here or something along those lines. We can do that. So 
if you want some lines, you can switch out the lines. Obviously, make sure you get some free ones. So you can just click it, and it'll go right in. You can rotate it. You can even change the color. This is your document colors, your photo colors. It's super helpful. So you can pretty much do whatever you'd like with it. You have tons of other ones, obviously. Steer clear of the ones that have the price tag. You can put some more text in it, some font combinations. You can have, um, these are all Canva's set ones. You can also use these as an inspiration. The background, you can search up some background images that'll go with your color theme. You can even insert videos if you want. These ones are free, some aerial shots. These ones you can also just look up on Google. Um, you can also upload some of your own images or your own folders, so on and so forth. So yes, it's pretty, this is pretty much just a little tutorial on Canva. Um, you can duplicate, um, you can copy the style of it, you can make the image transparent or not. You can add a link or you can lock a certain position of something. So say I don't want any of this stuff to be moved. I can lock it. So now it's not going anywhere. See, I can grab it. It's not moving, which is good. Because sometimes if you're working hard with this, sometimes things get um, difficult to, if you want to just just this ever so slightly, you might accidentally grab that. Okay. So once we're done with this, um, you can obviously mess around with this a little bit more. So once you're done, you can click download. And download the file. I would recommend downloading it as a PDF print um, or a JPEG. PDF has the highest quality, and then you can select which uh, page you want. If you want them both, and then you just hit download. You're good to go. Thanks for watching.